All right, I picked up a AEM code air intake and uh, about to install it. All right, guys, for this, the main thing you should need is a flathead screwdriver and probably a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. And I do want to point out that they added more check valves they're all separated. So they're really trying to, it's got three PCV valves now. Well actually technically four. But on the older models, this one right here is the only one that was actually on the cars. So they're really trying to stop the oil consumption. Alright guys, the first thing you want to do is you just turn this with the flathead screwdriver and, the, and then pop it up and then we'll remove this piece first and then it will detach from here. Alright, let's move both down and you're gonna take a 10 millimeter and break all these loose or just these two and then take those off. Then once you get that off, you, it'll just slide off and you can keep it on there. You're going to have another bolt down off in there that you'll have to get out. And then make sure you unplug your mask. But after you get that bolt out, you can pop this out and I'll get that bolt out and then show you. Alright guys, I got the stock box out. Uh, we're going to pull the mass airflow sensor off of it, put it on the new intake, and then get the new intake installed. Alright, you have to pull this grommet out of this off your stock box, and then it'll be installed on the new heat shield. Alright, you attach it to the heat shield right there, and then you'll attach your air filter. When you get it back off in there, you'll just tighten up these. You'll reconnect your math air flow sensor, and then you'll finish getting that on. And then you use that grommet in the bolt to put that back down or to buckle it down. All right, guys, I got it installed. And like I said, you just have to push this coupler onto here, tighten these clamps. And then make sure you reattach your mask, and then just button up this, and it fits all really well. And then, like I said, you already use that grommet, and that I'll get there. Alright, we got the intake installed. Uh, let's fire it up and see if it sounds any different.
All right, guys, that completes the install on the AEM intake on the 2018 STI. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. Um, I'll try to post another video, uh, at least one video a week on Thursdays. And like I said, if you got any questions, just feel free to ask. Um, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can.